All right, this is our starting point here. This is a crock it's set up. Uh, it's not gonna work as it is, I'll show you here. Pull this lid off, and as you can look, this uh, sticks up. Uh, the piece that goes on the top to seal it sticks up about four inches. This is a little bit more than four inches, so I'm not gonna have enough space. I'm gonna have to cut this top part off here. All right, so I'm just gonna stick my knife in here, cut it right around this top part here. Get this off so we can fit it in. So I got this top part cut off, now we can take this off. Now as you can see, we're down to a lot lower level. Definitely gonna be able to fit this on top now. Now I just need to get this pipe cut out of the way so we can have this removable, put it on and off. So that's the next step to do. I've got my sump pipe coming out of here. I'm gonna cut it off right here and use this rubber fitting so I can fit on the lid over the top. But I wanna get this cut first because I'm going to need it out of the way so I can put this on. I want to try to keep it the same height here. This is my anti-backstop so the water doesn't roll back down back into the crock. So I want to do it below that so I don't have a possibility of leaking from this rubber fitting. So I'm going to put it in right here. So I'm going to cut it with the uh, sawzall right there. Reciprocating saw right there. And then we'll go from there. So I tape this plastic around there try to keep the the pieces from going down into the the crock area so I can keep them all up here sweep them up easier all right so I got this cut off now now we can go ahead and uh, get this all sized up here pretty good got my hole here for the mitigation so I think we're pretty good here so now all I need to do is make sure this doesn't move so I can get my holes drilled to make sure this is good and secured. So I will do that now. Uh, what I'm gonna do is use some duct tape and just tape this down to keep the bottom part from moving. All right, so that'll keep this in place here. I can take this off, get these holes drilled here get it ready for the screws to go in and then get it ready for the sealant. Alright, these are the concrete screws I'm going to be using. I've actually marked this off and put a piece of tape around it so I don't drill too deep into the cement. So, should be ready to go here. Just have to take my hammer drill and put some holes in here. Alright, so I've cleaned up all the the holes, the uh, area around the holes here, so we're all ready to put this down. And I'm just going to size it up one last time before putting the before putting the silicone on. And there we go, that's exactly what we want here. So we are ready to take this now and we're going to put a, some silicone on the bottom here to make a nice tight seal to the cement so we're not going to have any issues of any airflow. Make this as airtight as possible. 
All right, I'm gonna lay a bead of uh, silicone now. Whoa. I've got a pretty thick bead around here. So we wanna make sure this gets good and sealed up. We've got the sealant on now. Now we're going to turn this over carefully, not let it touch the ground until we're ready. And set it in place. We're putting these down onto the holes here. The hole there. Line up a couple holes here. Alright, so I got these all screwed in now. I'm going to go around with this. Just put a bead around the outside here. So I got a nice seal around this. I'm gonna get a paper towel to clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna just take a paper towel here. Try to clean up the edge, make a nice, even line around here. And this is actually clear. You can't see it now, but this is clear silicon, so it will actually dry clear. So it will not be uh, near as noticeable as it is now. Which is good because I did not do a very good job on the, the silicone on this. Not like I would normally hope to do anyway. Alright, so I'm using this here for the inch and a half pipe. This is the mount that has threads on it. It's sliding that right in there. It's going to make a nice tight seal. Now the piece on the bottom that seals it was not right. So I used a rotary tool to clean this out so I'd be able to put it over this piece right here. It's not the cleanest of jobs but this will definitely seal up that hole to give it an airtight connection. So I just need to put this on here. Then we got uh, the cords here. These, this has this piece that just opens up and Put the cord in. So, that's right in. That's one side. I had to cut this side out. Slide this guy in here. All right. So I'm just going to work the cords down here. Now this is where our mitigation system is going to go. But before I do that, I'm going to get all these tightened down around here to get this all ready to go. All right. So I've got the outside wall here. I'm going to be drilling out for the pipe. I've checked the outside already. This is a good spot. So I got my drill hole drill and we're going to drill this through. All right, so we've come outside now. The hole, the pilot hole is drilled through here. So we're going to just take our drill and finish the rest outside here. There we go. 
and our hole is ready to go. All right, so this is a sump pump coming out, and this is the pipe we're gonna have right here. I'll cut off uh, right here, put this part in right here. This will be my, my drain pipe coming down, so I'll put this on. So I got this, I'm gonna put it close to here because I want that pipe to come up, because it's gonna straight up the, the roof line here. So, get this cut off. I've already measured it out based on how far it'll go in, so it'll be about that far in. So I'm gonna cut that off. And you put the uh, the glue on the pipe. Here's the completed mitigation piping, and this is just the piping for the air. I haven't put any electrical in yet. So it's coming out of the house down here, and then it's coming up. We have a T in place here. It's allowing for the drip drain. It's going up the side of the house. And I'm going have it going up past the roof line there. I've got a screen on that, it's a quarter inch screen, which is going to keep anything from falling into it as far as birds or animals getting in there. And it comes down, there it is, and I'll be hooking up the electrical next, and then we'll be able to put this on and start our mitigation system working. Alright, so we've got the electrical ready to put on now. And I'm using an outdoor outlet. I've got it on with some flexible conduit. I'm gonna hook, put that in right here and then run our conduit over to the electrical here. I gotta take the end off and then we're gonna cut the tubing here. Measure up the tubing. To our hole. So we're gonna put this in like this. I'm gonna push it back a little bit. We've got a little extra in case we need it. All right, I just gotta pull the wire through here. Pull this in. And this kind of twists on. 